This is the current view of the roof garden. Right, oh, <laughs> right. Loft update time. Quick sip of the coffee and then we'll get into it. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back. Finally, with an update on the loft refurbishment because, as you can probably guess by the very large tarpaulin that's behind me covering the roof, the loft conversion has finally begun, which I'm over the moon about. So I just thought I would give you a bit of an update and a tour in this video, let you know what's been going on. And if you're new here and you've just stumbled across this video, basically I'm in the process of converting my loft so I'm going to do this as a playlist as well so if you want to catch up and watch the kind of earlier ones which talk about the process of getting all the planning and all that kind of stuff then I will link the playlist in the description box and feel free to click subscribe so you don't miss an update and a brand new video so today is Saturday and basically it is week one or the end of week one I suppose the scaffolding actually went up last Friday it went up in I would say well they started at around 8 a.m. and they were finished by 3 p.m. they were done and dusted and the scaffolding went up at the front of the property and also at the back over the roof garden which is where I'm sitting now and don't worry the roof garden is just below me down there so I'm not sitting on a great big drop or anything like that so I am safe where I'm vlogging from at the minute do excuse the noise while I'm out here there's a lot of aeroplanes flying over today and also there's some people doing some work in their back gardens and things like that I'm actually feeling quite exposed up here because <laughs> all the neighbors are kind of overlooking so yeah they'll be like who's that guy talking to a camera on some scaffolding well they can get used to that for the time being <laughs> so yeah the scaffolding went up on friday and yeah all efficient went up no bother at all we did have to bring some scaffold boards through my living room window at the front and then right the way through the flat out the roof garden and then get them up here but they have managed to do it at the back without going onto any neighboring gardens which is brilliant so we haven't had to drop any poles into any of the neighbors gardens they've just managed to build it all up on top of the roof garden here so that's all been done then on Monday the building team came here and started to rip off the roof so as you can see next to me here we have a very nice pile of tiles that have been ripped off and then we have bits of rubble bits of wood and there's loads more inside so yeah on the first day they removed all the slates ripped off the membrane all that kind of stuff on the back side of the roof and it was completely open so i'm so glad that we've started to have some good weather here in the uk because you remember recently how rainy it's been if you live in the uk you'll know what i'm talking about and if you don't well it was torrential rain for days and days and days on end throughout may so actually the fact that things have been delayed a bit probably has worked out for the best in terms of the weather so that's where we're up to they were slightly delayed in the fact that the scaffolders didn't build the scaffolding quite high enough at the front so they had to build an additional level I think there was some communication breakdown there they also had to add the chute that you send all the rubble down to go into a skip They'd forgotten to do that bit. I'm not sure what was going on there, but anyway, that's all been done. And then once the rest of the scaffolding was up, they were able to continue. And I think they stopped on Wednesday because they are now at a point where they're waiting for the steels to arrive. That they're going to be putting into the roof to make it extra sturdy. And they're also going to be adding a steel downstairs in the hallway, which I actually wasn't aware of. So yeah, that's a little tip for you. Maybe ask the architect more questions because I didn't spot that one on the plans it's absolutely fine and actually the bit of ceiling that they're going to be adding that steel to I'll show you in a minute but um that's been rain damaged from a leak that we had anyway and it's a really awful bit of ceiling that's just got bumpy plaster on it and stuff so I'm more than happy for that to be ripped out and for a new steel to go in there so I'll show you that in a little bit so yeah as you can see this bit that I'm sitting on now is directly above the roof garden there's a little bit over this side that kind of juts out over the roof garden and naturally hangs above our downstairs neighbors and a few little bits and pieces actually fell down through these cracks so we had to go down there and collect all of those and yeah apologize to the neighbors because that wasn't ideal we've just made sure that the builders are aware of that because we don't want any bits falling down 
into their garden and yeah at the moment we can't access the roof because they've added this tarpaulin and they've stretched it on and they've really nailed it in as you can see they've screwed some planks on to stop that going anywhere but that's enough to keep the rain out not that it is raining and they're going to be back on monday to crack on hopefully the steels will have arrived by then and yeah it's been an interesting week i've been very busy i've been up and down to leeds twice this week with work and tomorrow i'm off to gloucester so yeah the timing of the loft conversion I mean, it's never going to be the best time, but it does seem to have fallen onto one of my most busy work periods. But what can we do? My partner is home while the renovations are happening as well. So there is somebody here to oversee everything. So yeah, out here is a bit of a mess because everything just got moved by the scaffolders when the scaffolding went up and I've not had chance to come out and kind of reorder everything. But I probably could have a bit of a tidy up, I think, and try and get it back to how it was looking when I last did a tidy up out here and we could definitely just hang the sheet up and chill out in that area still look how nicely the geraniums are coming on that's thanks to the miracle grow that i was working with you might have seen that video recently and yeah everything else is just looking a bit sad <laughs> but um yeah we can give this a tidy up at some point when i get a minute right let me show you what's going on inside so this is new <laughs> and this is below where the water tank is situated so i've got a feeling that when they've been piling up wood up there something's happened to the water tank which is letting it overflow maybe the little stopper thing you know the ball that when the water tank fills up i think that might have got trapped so i'm going to pop up there and see what is going on and stop this from leaking any further. Oh, the camera's focus has given up. Yeah, I know how you feel, mate. <laughs> but um, we're gonna repaint everywhere, of course, anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. And this part of the ceiling will actually be smashed out where the stairs are going up into the loft. So let's not worry about that. This lamp's moving anyway. So yeah, we're not gonna stress, but I'm gonna sort that out before it makes any more mess because I don't want it to be soaking too much into the plaster. Lucky we've got the weather, that will dry out in no time. Okay, the light is rather unfortunate. That is because of the blue canopy. So excuse the fact that I look like a statue, but now we're up here, I can kind of show you the space a little bit better because actually we've now got loads of light coming in. So you can get a better sense of the space. I think every time I've shown you up here before, it's just been with one light bulb to light the space. So do you remember we had the shelves up here that I cleared out? There was all of the Christmas decorations over there which are now in the bathroom. And this side here, all these will be going and this will become the dormer. So just imagine we are going to have all the headroom on this side right the way out that far corner which is very exciting already it feels more spacious up here which is brilliant and here is the water tank which will be removed these things confuse me and also slightly scare me <laughs> i'm not quite sure exactly how they work but as you can see there's still some water in there so i think we have a leak so i'm going to get a bucket and just take out the remaining water into a bucket, throw it straight down, out there onto the roof garden. If it goes on some plants, happy days. I tell you what, <laughs> it is warm under this tarpaulin. I am sweating already. It's very difficult to go up there without getting filthy. <laughs> I feel like I'm covered in dust after just 10 minutes up there and I can feel like I've got it in my mouth and in my teeth which is lovely. But let me show you the bathroom because there's quite a lot of stuff in there now. This is where I've stacked up all of the Christmas decorations. And in this bag here, we have the carpet that's actually from the downstairs, and um, the first stairs when you first come in, the red carpet, which I think um, this might be enough to replace the entire stairs or if not a section of them. And there is some parts that have been moth eaten. So I'm hoping that when I unwrap this, the moths haven't been at it and I'll be able to use that to replace some of the carpet when the works downstairs are finished, when all of those new steels are in and that kind of thing once we've redecorated. So yeah, boxes are stacked up in here and on the washing machine I have created a little tea and coffee station for the builders. I bought this kettle in Morrison's, it was only £15 and yeah, they've got some squash as well so obviously the weather's been warm so I just bring milk up for them every day and they can use this 
They are free to use the kitchen if they want to, but it just means that they don't have to keep coming up and down the stairs. Just to give you an idea, this is kind of what we're usually working with in the hallway. Things do keep falling down, so put slippers on or whatever. It's all gonna get repainted. And then in the corner of the bedroom, I've stacked up these hampers, which were underneath where the loft ladder is, and also this chair that I think I'm gonna hang on to. There's the magazine rack up on top. Crikey, this looks ridiculous. But um, yeah, I'll probably get rid of a few of these hampers, I think. But for now, I've just stacked them up out the way. Just to show you as well, if you do end up having to have scaffolding come through your property, you are gonna end up with scuffs on the walls like this. This isn't an issue because, as I say, everything's going to be redecorated, but just to make you aware that it will happen. So what I would suggest is if you do have to have poles coming through your property and you're worried about that sort of thing, maybe you could get some cardboard or something like that, masking tape it on, um, or find a way to protect it because scaffold poles are quite long and awkward. So I think even with the best care, they're gonna end up knocking things like this. So yeah, just thought I would share that with you. This is the view from the living room windows. As you can see, we have the scaffolding here and down here you can see some of the floorboards that are piled up waiting to go up. And as you can see, the window ledges have been scraped back a little bit. I've just made a start on that because we're gonna get all of these redecorated while the scaffolding is up. And this is the current view from my desk. So I've pushed the windows into the far corner now. So we had this window open to allow all the scaffold boards through. And as you can see, I've stacked the rugs up on top of those boxes, just so those are out the way. But yeah, hopefully these boxes will be able to go up in the next, probably not next week, but maybe the one after. So yeah, it'd be great to get these out of the way because we have eight of them in total. There's six in the living room and there's two in the downstairs hallway, which is not ideal. And here on the plans, you can see, this is the kitchen and you can see here, where the stairs turn, there will be a steel added. So that's the one that caught me by surprise. And then this gives you a better idea of the uh, roof parts. It's kind of where I was standing actually when I was speaking to you just before. And as you can see, this is where the tarpaulin is at the moment. All this will be coming out like this, which is gonna make such a difference. And this will be roughly the layout, but I'm just working on things like the bathroom layout. I know a lot of you said not to have the toilet facing the door like that, and to look at different door options to save on space. So this is where the new steel is going to go in. In here, you can see there's been a hole drilled in here. I'm not sure why they've done that, but yeah, we know that this is hollow, and as you can see, it's all lumpy bumpy and yucky, as is this, which is kind of like the underside of the stairs, which is probably hiding all sorts of cables and things like that. So maybe we'll be able to rip some of this away at the same time. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> we have a situation here anyway. So we have a hole in the ceiling that was from the roof garden. We had a leak. So yeah, we're gonna get all this ripped out and sorted. I just figured that it wasn't worth fixing all of this before having the loft build. I'd rather just get builders in who we can get to know and work with them on kind of everything at the same time. I had a few flooring samples arrive, so I thought I would share those with you. First ones are from Carpet Right. I saw my friend Medina, who is Grillo Designs on Instagram, talking about flooring from Carpet Right, laminate flooring in particular. She's brilliant and she highly recommends it, so I thought we would get some samples from them, and I've gone for this one, which is called uh, Stretto Sepia Oak which I quite liked the tones of this. And then I also went for this one, which is called Whitewashed Exquisite. So again, it's an oak, but it's got a slight whitewash through it, which I thought was quite interesting and might be quite nice for the loft because it's slightly lighter. I'll just show you them side by side so you can get an idea. But I quite like the tones in these. They're not too gray, but they're not too warm. So yeah, quite liking the look of these two. And then I also ordered one of these, which is called Smoke Oak Light Grey. And this is the luxury vinyl tile. So as you can see, it's slightly thinner than the laminate. And when we're thinking about headroom in the loft, all of these little measurements are going to add up, aren't they? So we'll be thinking about that when we choose the flooring because yeah, with underlay and stuff, it can all add up, can't it? So those are ones from Carpet Right that I've ordered. And then I've also ordered some here from 
I've forgotten the name because what I tend to do is just Google things that I think I might like and then see which companies pop up. This one's from Direct Wood Flooring. They do artificial grass as well, just noticed on the brochure here. And yeah, I went for some random options here. I couldn't actually see very well on the website what the tones were, so I've gone a bit hit and miss with these. So yeah, I don't think any of these are probably quite what I'm after. I just wasn't sure. This one's called Villa Gala Oak White. And as you can see, it is very light and it has a slight gray tone to it. It is quite nice, but I think maybe, yeah, too white for what I've got in mind. And then this one is a herringbone and this is pearl oak. And again, I wasn't sure on the site what this would be like, but I think again, this might be a bit too white and a bit too much of a gray tone personally. And then this one is called Apollo Grey Oak, and this is a barn wood multi-width. So this one is actually a floorboard that comes in like different widths, which is kind of unusual, but I thought maybe quite interesting. So you've got some planks that are probably about this wide and then some that are much narrower and they kind of mix and match. But I thought they looked quite cool. I'm unsure about whether to go for straight planks, that kind, or a herringbone design. So we shall see, stay tuned. <laughs> so there's that one as well. And then we have this one, which is herringbone elegant oak, which probably is more the kind of vibe that I'm thinking. A little bit more classic and a little bit more timeless, but not too um, warm in its tone. I don't want it to be like the door there. I don't want anything that's verging on a yellow or an orangey color. So it needs to be knocked back a little bit. I'm quite liking this. What do we think? But I find that with these samples, they're quite small, aren't they? So it is hard to see. So they're good for kind of initial inspo, I think, to get them sent to the door. And you can order more as well. So you get, I think it's three at a time or four or five at a time with this company with the direct wood flooring. But then if you don't like them, you can keep reordering until you find something that you like. So yeah, and that's all free. So if you are looking for a new floor, definitely pop some orders in and get some inspo. But I think I'll definitely head out to some showrooms at some point where you can see the planks in their full size and hopefully like laid out in the formation because unless we know how big the planks are and how they look when they're laid, I don't think we get a proper idea, do we? So yeah, that's another job on the list as is thinking about the bathroom. I've been sharing bits of inspiration over on my home account, Mr. Carrington Home, where I've just been searching for pictures and sharing bits and pieces that I think might work up there and that kind of thing. So feel free to give me a little follow over there if you want to follow along with kind of how I'm pulling a mood board together. Um, that will be over there for you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little update. It is Saturday, as I said, so the time is just past midday. I've just had a nurse swing by to give me a COVID test because I'm being tested regularly at the moment because of the filming that I'm doing. So that's just been ticked off the list. And now I've got the rest of the day to chill out for a bit. I think I'm gonna actually pop to some charity shops for a little browse this afternoon. And then tomorrow I'm getting packed up to go and shoot the next episode of Sort Your Life Out. So I will be back with another vlog. Maybe next week I will vlog a bit of my week. I think I'll do that. And then I'll be back with another loft update very soon. I'll probably do them once a week or once a fortnight for the time being, just as and when um, things are happening, things are changing, and anything that I think you will be interested in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up, and don't forget, if you are new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week, and to follow the loft renovation progress too. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this one up now because I want to get this edited and uploaded for you for tomorrow. So if you're watching this on Sunday, I hope you're having a lovely weekend, whatever you're up to, and I hope you have a good week ahead. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.